Saint Etienne managed to salvage a draw in last week's derby against Lyon thanks to a last minute equaliser from Mathieu Debouchy. The informed Frenchman, who's still dreaming of a possible trip to the World Cup this summer, was back in the starting lineup against Dijon on Saturday. The visitors picked up an important win against Caen last weekend and even kept their fourth clean sheet of the season despite boasting the worst defensive record in Ligue 1 Conferama. Well, Dijon just a point above Sante at kickoff, so a chance for both sides to take a step towards securing their top flight status. And it was Dijon who took the lead rather against the run of play on 32 minutes. Julio Tavares slipping in his 11th goal of the season, his seventh in eight league and outings in 2018. The Cap Verde International getting away from Loic Perra, who was celebrating his 400th professional game with Le Vert. So 1-0 for Dijon, although Saint-Étienne had a golden opportunity to equalise within a couple of minutes. Ole Selnies brought down in the area by name Sleety. And Dijon conceding their 11th penalty of the season, more than any other side in Europe's top five leagues. Up stepped Robert Beric. But the Slovenian saw his attempt saved by Baptista René. Still, Saint-Étienne got their equaliser on the stroke of half-time. And it was that man Beric who atoned for his earlier mistake with a superb header. Nodding in Gabriel Silva's cross to make it 1-1. Incredibly, this was the first headed goal that Saint-Étienne have scored all season. What a header it was too. Fourth goal of the season for Beric. And one apiece after an entertaining first half at Joffre Guichard. However, Dijon managed to restore their lead 10 minutes into the second half. Valentin Rosier coming forward here, slipping it back for Florent Balmont. And here's cross in for Wesley Saeed, the 22-year-old Frenchman with his sixth goal in Ligue 1 this season. The first on the road. Once again, Dijon forging ahead. Lovely ball in from Balmont, in behind the defence. The lead was short-lived though, Saint-Étienne equalising just six minutes later. Ball staying in play here and punted forward by Gabriel Silva. Beric coming forward and unleashing from outside the area, a superb strike. Going between the legs of Papu Gilabodji, which meant it was difficult for René to track the flight of the ball. Beric getting his first league embrace and moving on to five for the season. And so in the end, perhaps a fair result, two apiece. Both sides with chances to win it in the second half. Dijon climbing a place to 10th, while Saint-Étienne slipped to 13th.